Hello friends, uh, most welcome to English Advantage online classes. Uh, friends, in this video, I will be explaining to you the most important high frequency vocabulary uh, for your next forthcoming exam, uh, like IBPS Bank PO, like IBPS Clerk, SSC CGL exam, and definitely for uh, RRB exam. So, this vocabulary I have taken from the last year question papers, and uh, some of the vocabulary I have also taken from the Hindu newspaper that is very, very important. So, this video tutorial I am recording uh, for the English medium student. This will be in English uh, language. And if you want to watch the Hindi counterpart of uh, this video, you can definitely watch it in the respective playlist available on this channel. So, let us get started uh, with the, these high frequency word. These words are very common and they keep coming in different parts of the English uh, language section. Like reading comprehension, like close test, like uh, para jumble. So, these words are very common and very frequently used. So, first word I have taken is outlay. Okay. Now, outlay simply means, uh, this is the meaning I have written here, an amount of money is spent on something. An amount of money is spent up on something is called outlay. Okay. You can remember this uh, word by, this, by these three letters out. Okay. This out indicates something that is outgoing. And outgoing imply something uh, that is related with the expenses. So outgoing means expenses and incoming means income. So in this way, you can remember this word outlay. Okay. And the corresponding synonym for this words uh, for this word are expenditure, expenses, spending, outgoings, money spent, disbursement, and investment. So, this word is also very commonly used in different reading comprehensions. This was meant. Okay. This was meant means investment. And the corresponding antonym for this word is income. Now, I have given here two example sentences. A modest outlay on local advertising was necessary. So, this is the example sentence. Now, let us look at the second one. The project involved comparatively little financial outlay okay the project did not need much money it required only a little financial outlay now let us move on to the second word uh, subsume okay subsume means uh, to include or absorb something in something else or in the simple language you can say uh, subsume means to classify to categorize something okay so, I have given here uh, synonyms include, count, consider, incorporate and classify. Okay, this is the most uh, simple meaning uh, of this word, uh, subsume. Okay, and uh, the antonym for this word is exclude. And you can remember this word by linking subsume with the word consume. Consume also means to incorporate or to include. Okay. So, subsume, uh, you can link this word with consume. So, subsume means include or absorb. Now, let us look at the example sentence. Most of these phenomena can be subsumed under two broad categories. Okay, this phenomena is plural and its uh, singular form is phenomenon. Phenomenon. Okay, now let us move on to the third uh, word number third. Invises. Invises means to envision or you can say foresee or you can say predict. Predict is a very simple word to tell something about future or to predict the future or foretell, forecast, anticipate, expect, think likely and envision. Very important word, very common word. Invises. Okay. Invises means foresee, predict, forecast, foretell, anticipate, expect. Think likely and envision. And uh, if you do not anticipate, you disregard. You kind of ignore. So that is why the antonym for this word are disregard and ignore. <coughs> now let us see the example sentence. The Rome Treaty envisaged free movement across frontiers. Okay. Uh, there was a Rome Treaty and the Rome Treaty anticipated what? It anticipated free movement across different borders and across frontiers. So, this is the meaning of this sentence. 
now let us move on to the next word lax ah uh, if you are lax you are not very careful you are neglectful or you can say i can say you are remiss so uh, many words i have written here uh, that are corresponding synonym for this word lax slack slip short uh, negligent neglectful remiss very important word this word is important remiss careless heedless now heed means to pay attention heed means to pay attention so that is why heedless means careless unmindful or casual offhand and uh, slap dash and inattentive so lax you can combine you can link this word with relax so when you are relax you are kind of negligent or slack you are not very careful when you are relax so this way you can link all these words and you can remember all these word for a very long time now the antonym uh, for this word are careful strict and severe okay now let us uh, go through the example sentence lax security arrangements at the airport must be beefed up at the earliest beefed up means it should be tightened and it should be strengthened so lax means to slack or you can say uh, to neglectful being neglectful now let us move on to the next word revamp revamp okay a revamp means an act of improving the form structure or appearance of something or you can say a kind of rebuilding of something or renovate you can say renovation of something okay so renovate Uh, redecorate and refurbish this is important refurbish recondition of something make over overhaul reconstruct rebuild and uh, rehabilitate okay so rehabilitate is slightly different from revamp uh, okay it is used in a different sense but the correct uh, synonym uh, for this revamp is refurbish and rebuild and uh, if you do not revamp something you damage it okay you destroy it and you kind of break it so these are the antonym for this word revamp now let us look at the example sentence for this word uh, revamp it was an attempt to revamp the museum image okay uh, the nokia brand was given a 10 million dollar revamp Uh, obviously through advertisement and uh, through different marketing campaigns so total outlay was uh, 10 million dollar now let us move on to the next word very important word very common word redress so this is the verb form and the noun form of this uh, word will be redressal okay redressal so redressal mean an act of correcting an error or a fault or an evil an act of correcting an error or a fault or an evil so you must have heard regarding the redressal forum or uh, grievance redressal forums uh, particularly in government departments okay a sum of money this also means i have given here three meanings three different meanings for the same word a sum of money <coughs> are paid in compensation uh, for loss or injury so this is the another meaning and this is also the meaning remedy or compensation for a wrong or grievance okay wrong doing or grievance now the synonym for this word redress are rectify correct set right and compensate okay so these are very important and uh, if you do not compensate you definitely impose penalty so penalty will be the antonym for this word redress now the example sentence for this word are he was disappointed and i uh, he was disappointed and he it should be he actually and uh, he came back determined to redress that situation <clears throat> those seeking redress for an infringement of public law rights so very important sentences this word is uh, very commonly used in reading comprehensions now let us move on to the next word pertinent if something is pertinent it is relevant or applicable to a particular matter or situation or you can say opposite okay so pertinent to something means relevant to something 
it is followed by a preposition to relevant or applicable to something synonym for this word are relevant uh, to the point opposite this word is very common uh, appropriate suitable fitting fit and uh, this is also very uh, important apt apt means suitable apt means suitable opposite means uh, suitable okay and fitting means also suitable and i have uh, included this word germane very important word germane means suitable germane means appropriate or relevant or suitable germane very important word and this word is also very important apropos apropos means with reference to something or concerning something okay apropos means with reference to something or concerning something and uh, antonym of this word pertinent are irrelevant or unconnected or out of the context or immaterial very important word irrelevant unconnected out of the context or immaterial now let us look at the example sentence during the discussion he asked me a lot of very pertinent questions very relevant questions okay very to the point questions you can say and uh, second one is he remarked apropos of the initiative apropos of means concerning the initiative regarding the initiative he said something so apropos is followed by this preposition of and it means concerning something it is not going to stop the molestation and disrespectful behavior toward women so this is what he said uh, regarding one initiative so pertinent means relevant pertinent means relevant now the next word is reiterate ah uh, whenever you see these two letter r and e re okay it simply means that something is being uh, something is being uh, happen as a repetition of something okay this 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 re uh, indicates uh, something is being done twice and again and again you can say okay so that is why this reiterate means to repeat something or say something again or a number of times typically for emphasis or clarity okay uh, like the leaders and like the like our political leaders and ministers uh, reiterate some point uh, just typically for emphasis and clarity so repeat uh, say again restate retell recapitulate so these are the synonym for this word uh, reiterate rehearse and this is important belabor belabor means reiterate and over stress okay this word this word in particular is very very important and i have written uh, these two uh, phrasal verbs and uh, idiom separately dwell on and harp on dwell on and harp on means to reiterate and hammer away at and uh, go over and over go over and over and if you do not over stress you take back something now let us look at the example sentence uh, written here the cm uh, reiterated that the government would remain steadfast in its support toward the disaster relief measures okay now the second uh, now the ninth one is impinge impinge means to influence something okay have an effect sorry have an effect on something or especially a negative one so impinge simply means affect something have an effect on something or you can say have a uh, bearing on something or exert exert influence on something impinge impinge means affect something and uh, it has another meaning that is encroachment or infringement okay this is the another meaning and the general meaning is this impinge means to affect and uh, if it doesn't affect it avoid or leave alone these are the antonyms now let us look at the example sentence several factors impinge on market efficiency the affect on market efficiency so impinge is always followed by this preposition on okay these social issues impinge on all of us they affect all of us this is what the sentence means uh now let us move on to uh, to the sentence number uh, to the word number 10th emanate 
emanate simply means to emerge from somewhere okay a feeling a quality or a sensation issue or spread out from a source so this is the meaning of emanate and uh, the corresponding synonym uh, for this word emanate are originate derive stem and emerge so these are the words synonym and uh, antonyms are withdraw and hold very important okay if it doesn't if it doesn't emerge it kind of withdraw it go back now let us look at the example sentence warmth emanated from the fireplace was very comforting during that winter night it's very true that uh, warm feel very good uh, particularly during winter season so these 10 words 10 important word i have taken in this video tutorial and they all of them are high frequency word very important so you must watch this video multiple times uh, to get the uh, to get uh, uh, to grasp all these words now before i proceed further uh, let me revise uh, all these 10 words once again the 10th one is emanate 9th one is impinge 8th one is reiterate 7th one is pertinent Sixth one is redress or redressal. Fifth one is revamp. Fourth one is lax. Third one is invisible. Second one is subsume, and first one is outlay. So these are uh, ten word I have taken, <coughs> and after uh, uh, after reading and after understanding all these word, you can do the revision uh, for different words. Uh, so that so that definitely you can strengthen your uh, Uh, preparation for the exam outlay <coughs> means expenditure i have given the answer here also so you can give it a pause and you can go through all these words once again a uh, pertinent means a uh, pertinent means relevant or appropriate a uh, reiterate means to restate something okay uh, uh, typically for the emphasis tardy means if something is tardy it's very slow it's not prompt it's tardy dispel means to dismiss something or to reject something soporific means something that makes you sleep or you can say opiate sporadic means something that is random or irregular <coughs> ameliorate means to improve something <coughs> allude means to hint something okay and bereft means to deprive something very important words uh, now let us move on to the part 2 of revision redress means uh to rectify something rectify an error revamp means to rebuild ephemeral means transient okay uh not permanent but temporary rampant is something that is a uh, wide spread emanate means emerge okay emerge emanate means emerge impinge means to influence impinge means to influence dearth means scarcity or paucity or lack of something lacks means uh lax means slack or lax undermine means to uh, to make something weak and the opposite of this word undermine is strengthen or reinforce and bounty means reward okay so uh, you have given it i have given you a revision also of all these important words so you definitely you must have benefited from this uh, video tutorial now these are my links uh, through these links you can definitely join me you are most welcome on facebook <coughs> you can connect to me on facebook these are the links uh, i will be providing all these links in the description box below and uh, this is english advantage group on facebook very popular nowadays and you can share my videos uh on youtube this is my youtube channel url you can follow me on twitter you are most welcome you can connect with me on linkedin and this is my whatsapp number 
9893719933 you can uh, you can ask me any query or you can clear your doubts and uh, this is my email id so all these uh, through all these links you can definitely contact me so if you have found this video useful uh, for your success please like it uh, share it with your friends and do send me your comments your comments are very very important for me they are priceless for me so please do not forget to uh, so please do not forget to send your valuable comments uh, they are very very important for me and if you are the first timer on this channel please do not forget to subscribe kindly subscribe to this channel this channel could be highly useful for me because i upload only the exam oriented contents on this channel and if you watch all the videos available on this channel it will definitely boost your confidence many fold so please do not forget to subscribe this channel so once again i would like to say that thank you very much uh, for watching this video and i wish you all the best for your bright future thank you very much